Hi and welcome, it's Martina here. Today I will be creating a really clean and simple ombre card which is really really accessible also for beginners and newbies to heat embossing. When I think of ombre and heat embossing I usually think of color gradients in the background of a card. But I've been thinking I should do something a little bit different than I would usually do and thought I will create a card with an ombre effect on the die cuts because the wow embossing powders, they offer so many beautiful color shades where you can create so many amazing ombre effects that I thought it would be a great thing to do so. But since I've been, well, digging back into my mixed media roots lately, I've been thinking I could add some matte texture paste to my background panel of the card, which is just a piece of cardstock. And I'm using the Lots of Bubbles stencil, which is a wow embossing stencil created by Marian Emerson. And when this dried, this will give the card a subtle textured, but not really visible thing going on in the background. It will be looking like a dry emboss, maybe. That describes it the best. I've just glued my stencil down with washi tape and spread the texture paste through the whole stencil and set the whole thing aside to dry. In the meantime, I will do the easiest thing when it comes to heat embossing. Cutting down some pieces of cardstock, adding or applying the embossing ink. I'm using the Wow Embossing Clear Ultra Slow Drying Embossing Ink. Adding the embossing powder, which is pink to two in that case funneling the excess powder back into the jar and heat setting the powder. I have been repeating the same steps two times more for the other colors and the other colors I'm using are sugared almond, which is the darkest tone in my ombre, and periwinkle, which is the mid-tone of my ombre and one of the newest colors we have in the Wow Embossing color range. After I've heat set all my panels, I have die cut them with the Fly Away With Me Butterfly Dies by A Pocket Full of Happiness. And since I didn't like the coverage of the colors, I made a second layer of heat embossing on my already cut butterflies by just pressing the butterflies into my ink pad and again pouring the embossing powder over them, tapping it off, heat setting and now I'm already ready to assemble my butterflies. This die offers a solid body and an intricate overlay to each butterfly and that's a thing I totally love because you can make them even more dimensional. And now I'm already gluing my background piece to the card. Usually I'm using double-sided adhesive tape to glue my backgrounds to my card bases. But this time I've been thinking I could try liquid glue and see how I like this because I could be way more effective with liquid glue than with double-sided adhesive tape. And now it's time to glue my butterflies down. I'm trying to add as much dimension as possible and I'm just folding the wings to the middle of the butterflies, which makes the wings lift. And I'm gluing just the bodies of the butterflies to the cards. I have been thinking of a sentiment, but I decided this card doesn't need anything more and I'll just leave it as it is. I hope you liked this 
video and I hope we see us soon. Have a wonderful day. See you next time. Bye.